Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. This week's tip is issuing a patient refund. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the ledger for Tim Franklin. So I'll start by going to my patient list, click on Tim Franklin, and click on Ledger. You can see here that Tim had a prepayment of $42.50. Perhaps he was anticipating that that was going to be the total amount of the treatment, but after the doctor performed the work, maybe some buildups and posts weren't necessary. So now Tim has a credit of $650. Before issuing a refund, you'll always want to check the family account and make sure that no one else on the account has a balance that this money can go towards. So I'm going to select Show Family and we still have the standing $650. So in this situation, he's asking for the $650 back in his pocket, which seems to be a reasonable request since there is no pending treatment or no other possible charges that you can see coming down the line. What you'll want to do to issue Tim a refund is to show the doctor that there is a credit of $650 on the account by printing out the patient's ledger. Down in our options menu, you can select print ledger, Go ahead and choose the ledger format, click OK. We'll leave our date range blank, click OK again. And if we scroll down, you can see that there is $650 in negative money as the total balance on the account. These are all of Tim's charges, so it's easy for the doctor to see that there is actually a credit balance on the account and that this payment was just made last week. He can verify that there is no other treatment coming down the line, and if he agrees to write a refund check to Tim, we'll go ahead and do that from the ledger once you have the check in hand. So back here on the ledger, from your options menu, you want to go down under the enter a payment heading and select issue a patient refund. Here you have the option to choose how the doctor is paying Tim back. You can go ahead and put it back on a credit card if it was paid by credit card, but Tim paid us by check and so we're going to mail him a check back. So I'm going to make sure that check payment is listed, put in the check number that we're sending to Tim and then type in the amount refunded. If you click your tab button on your keyboard, you'll be able to see that money gets applied under a positive dollar amount against the negative $650. So at this point, all we need to do is click Save Changes. Now Tim's current balance is zero, and if we switch over to the detailed view, you can see that there was a refund check issued of $650. The only thing left to do at this point is print another ledger so that Tim can see he has a zero balance and send the ledger along with the refund check, and Tim's account will then be completely current. We'll print ledger, click OK. We'll leave the date range blank. So the printed ledger captures the entire date range on the ledger. Click OK again and you can see the breakdown of the payments that were made, the procedure codes that occurred, and the refund check that was issued, bringing the total balance to zero dollars. If you have any other questions that we can help you with, as always, please feel free to give Dentamax a call at 1-800-704-8494 and that concludes this week's tip of the week.